Hey guys, it's Levi here back with another episode of WTS Right to Success. And I gotta tell you, today, today had nothing to do with writing. But in a way it did have something to do with writing. How can it have something to do with it but something it's not? I didn't actually do anything with my writing. What I did is I'm fortunate enough to have a neighbor who's who's really an awesome guy. And uh, he and I worked on the bathroom of a rental house that I've got. Um, cutting holes through the floors, running plumbing through. Uh, we put up a shower. We got things ready for the toilet to be installed. Uh, basically some things I couldn't do by myself. Um, and we spent most of the late morning, all afternoon working on that. And uh, we've got a lot of progress done. Now I'm down to things that I can do by myself again over the next week, week and a half. And uh, But it ties into my writing because when I get somebody into this rental house, that's going to be extra cash income. And I have mentioned in other videos about you know doing what you can, where you can, with what you have, and making things happen. And one of these things is I happen to have a rental house that uh, I've been working on for about two years now and it's been taking me a while because I've just been doing it with these right here not any other help except for today and uh, uh, so I'm taking advantage of this to get it going so that I can have the income I'm gonna need a new vehicle uh, I'm starting to go farther and farther now with my elementary school presentations as an author and I need a dependable vehicle. Uh, the one I've got runs, but there's things that need to be fixed, things that are wearing out, and I need something that's gonna be dependable and it's gonna get me there. And uh, something that's gonna carry bigger marketing marketing uh, props. Uh, what I've got right now will just barely fit into my Jimmy. Uh, I'm not gonna get rid of the Jimmy though, I'm gonna keep it and uh, fix it up. Uh, while it is still running and eventually uh, drive it a little myself or I'll let one of my boys drive it when they get older uh, another six years or so when they go into high school but the whole time time today while I was working on this as I sit here and I kept thinking this income this income is going to help this income is going to make something better you know and if you've got the time and let's say the money's tight is there any way that you can do something that Maybe you'll make a little bit more. I mean, anything. It's even if it's something as simple as uh, cutting, mowing somebody's, cutting somebody's grass, or um, if you're the kind of person that in, would enjoy getting out, maybe pick up a paper route. Anything like that to make that extra income. Um, you know, I've got two rental houses, and I've got one rented and the one I'm working on. And uh, in fact, where I do all my videos from is actually what is one of my rentals I just happened right now uh, renting the my big home to a uh, some family right now that's uh, helping them and my kids out and uh, but when everything changes back and I move back into my original house um, you know that's gonna be two forms of income and that means that there's gonna be more that's gonna benefit me down the road so even though today I was working on a bathroom um, my neighbor, my neighbor, who's a union carpenter came in and he said, man, I don't like to do plumbing. And I said, well, we'll do it together. We'll get it done. And he did an awesome job. He was a big help. Um, and, uh, but it all ties in to more money and making things happen. So today was definitely progressing yesterday. Yesterday I did the same thing. I kind of, I worked on the back porch area, which hadn't even been touched yet. Got a new floor laid, got it all cleaned up and cleaned out and got, uh, some uh, paneling put on the ceiling to, to make it look nicer and uh, so you can use the back door and just things to keep progressing so uh, my call to action for you is are you doing everything that you can to try to do something now if it's something that you're legitimately not comfortable with uh, you know anything that goes against any kind of beliefs or anything I'm you know I definitely encourage you to be true to yourself but if there's things out there that you know you can do Man, jump on the ball and make it happen. Get out there and, and do those things. Like I said, uh, the worst thing I could do would be 
to let a house fall down that is perfectly savable and now it's looking beautiful it, it looks really nice inside and it's going to be a good home for somebody making me some income to put towards my writing and put towards things that I need so whatever it is that you want to do and it doesn't have to be writing it doesn't have to be speaking you know if, if you're going to college and you need just a little extra money if you got a little time on the weekend is there something you can do part-time or just you know fifty dollars make a hundred dollars you know any little bit helps so what are you doing to make it happen because there's a lot of people out there that that could have so much more man if they just put just a little bit of time into it and just a little bit of effort or do something to make just a little bit more money their doors are wide open they would open up and I have no doubt they'll open up for for you if you're if you're questioning about needing to do some more in your life so that's WTS for today just get out there do everything you can to make it happen and if you ever doubt just say am I doing enough so and uh, go out there and make it happen guys so see ya take care